to be honest with you guys, I didn't expect that this growth will happen that fast. I was thinking that we may still have a chance to correct before that, but see, the whales who manipulate the market decide a different way. And there are some articles already about the possible manipulative moves that some one person or like group of people who were who basically bought bought like 20,000 bitcoins on different exchanges using algorithms and so on made the price of bitcoin pump that high but we actually don't care what was the reason the main point is that what shall we expect now how shall we trade at that point as usual not a financial advice guys but the first thing which we should do is to eliminate all the emotions about this growth so yeah we we jumped pretty much like one thousand dollars but we are still in a bear market we still pretty much dumped it's just like one thousand dollars and we were at twenty thousand and the same way we moved up we can easily return back down so basically what i want to say is don't treat it as the signal to go all in on bitcoin of course if you like have a plan for a few years like 10 years maybe then yeah you can buy right now as well but if you are considering buying and selling few times a year at least then maybe you should be more cautious and like at least not put everything which you have into this trade second thing of course all the indicators are overbought and we need to have a correction or at least sideways price action for a while do i expect that this will rise from that point very likely but you see we don't have any reference points at this level so of course we had this sort of area but it, it is quite far from from what we have now of course we have for five thousand eight hundred dollars but it's also very high so what we can do we can actually return back to four thousand two hundred fifty or something and test it once again and to be honest with you guys if this will happen then i will lean to more to being more bearish about bitcoin price because even the fact that we didn't drop to this level immediately after that is very positive but as soon as we will continue to climbing down it would mean that the momentum is fading and we are about to go to the well i wouldn't say lower lows but at least that correction which was expected during the whole that time will finally come the good thing though that we broke all the all the resistances around here gradually but confidently and now we will be able to use those levels as support and i think it will be strong support but still as soon as we will touch it if we will touch it i would be very cautious about the future price development so far though let's be optimistic and first consider some moving averages as the reference point so now we are above 200 days moving average which is very good and if we'll stay above that this is very good sign so as soon as we'll go below that if we'll go below that which is like four thousand six hundred dollars then it will be a first sign that maybe we will go even lower and much lower as soon as we are above that i feel more or less safe also on a weekly chart we of course have that 20 weeks moving average but it's really really low so if we'll go that far then i would think that three thousand seven hundred like seventy dollars would be the first super strong resistance and maybe we will not even reach the 200 weeks moving averages because that would be really really strong technically again as soon as we are above this 20 20 weeks moving average we are quote unquote in a bull market or at least in a rising trend within the within some kind of unspecified territory but still momentum is positive with bitfinex short positions and you see from the beginning of 2018 we were following the trend of the lows of this short positions it was tested several times this trend line and then at the point of time when we had increased volume of the total capitalization of the market somewhere around here we had the the breakout of this trend line downwards and now the short positions number is below this trend line moreover we tried to test it once and we rejected it i would expect that it would actually make it once again but it didn't pay attention guys that as soon as we had the high of the shorts during the whole beer market here 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 and even here we had local low of the price of bitcoin but every time when we had a low 
area of the shorts we also had some high area of the price of Bitcoin. So now when we are in the situation when the shorts are below this trend line, this system doesn't work anymore. And it also another confirmation for the fact that we are in a very different situation right now from when we were before, like the whole year, more than a year before. And this together with all the price action which we saw today is a very, very nice sign in my opinion. And the last thing which I was going to show you is this logarithmic chart of Bitcoin. And like the general way of thinking of this development of this chart is that on the logarithmic scale you can draw this envelope function which will touch the highs and lows of the price of Bitcoin and you see the cycles are getting longer and every next high rises not so much as the previous one. So if you extrapolate this further you would expect that the next cycle will be much longer and we would not have like the same rise coefficient as we had before but a little bit less. And this is perfectly reasonable, like market capitalization is bigger, it's harder to move it and so on and so forth. There are tons of like reasonable arguments about it. However, what I would like to show you here is that since we have just like one, two basically cycles and this I wouldn't call this really a cycle but some initiation of the price, maybe we actually may repeat previous cycle don't have any kind of like continuation of the trend. Maybe it's, it's like repetitive cycles, one short one long, one short again, and then I just translated this area here and you can see that in fact actually right now it looks very similar with this huge candle which we saw today. So if this indeed will happen then we will see our two and a half million dollars on April 1st, 21st. Of course it's overly optimistic chart and I would say it's more likely that it will not happen but who knows. Who knows? In any case, I'm sure that John McAfee will be really happy if this will happen. Okay guys, that is it for today. Let's see how the price will evolve tomorrow. So let's act according to its dynamics. And again, don't FOMO, don't lose your head. Thank you for watching.